Welcome to the France Summer Language Camp webinar. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Caitlin, and I'm a member of the Study Abroad team here at AFS USA. I wanted to briefly review the agenda. Today, we will talk a little bit about the history of AFS, provide an overview of the program and highlights, share a packing list, talk about dorm life, travel and logistics, and share some helpful tips. AFS USA was founded in 1915 as a volunteer-based organization and works to build a more just and peaceful world through international education and exchange. We provide life-changing intercultural learning experiences to individuals, families, schools, and communities through a global network of independent, nonprofit AFS organizations. Each organization has a professionally staffed office and a team of dedicated volunteers. AFS also works with vetted non-AFS partners who have met AFS's standards of quality. CMEF was initially created by Jean Moreau in 1952 to promote peace by educating the youth after the Second World War, striving to bring together French and German students. CMEF's main aim was to create a new form of connection, communication, and comprehension between the younger generations by combining the study of the French language and the expression of art and creativity. Very soon, the meetings became international. One reason that AFS began this partnership with CMEF was because of our shared history of bridge building post-conflict. Both of our organizations value people-to-people -people relationships being integral for building a more just and peaceful world. Welcome to Nice. Nice was likely founded around 350 BC by Greek colonists from Western Anatolia. It was given the name of Nikaia in honor of a victory over the neighboring Ligurians, people from the northwest of Italy. Nike was also the Greek goddess of victory. Many people in Nice speak both Italian and French. Settling into your daily life. During this month-long summer camp program, you'll have the chance to take French language with both AFS participants and campers from all over the world. Language classes are held in the mornings in an international classroom setting. In the afternoon, you'll be able to select from different activities and excursions that are available throughout the week. In the evenings after dinner, there are usually group activities offered within the campus. We wanted to share a part of an example schedule with you. Some highlights include daily language instruction, evening activities often held on campus and focused around team building and relationship building with fellow campers, weekend excursions that are chaperoned, and weekend adventure activities like boating and beach trips. We want to make sure that you pick the program that is right for you. This program is unique in that it is modeled after a more traditional sleepaway camp, meaning that it includes a lot more supervision and group focused activities. We want to stress that very much like a sleepaway camp you might have attended here in the US, this camp has regulations and rules that you must follow to keep you safe. The activities are structured and built to encourage bonding with the group of campers in attendance. They require your active participation. While you will get to experience some of the culture of the South of France, this program is different than other AFS programs in that it is much more focused on language learning and activities as opposed to full immersion into a community and culture. These are great benefits to some, especially first time travelers, but this may not be the right fit for everyone.
The entire program will take place on the CMEF campus. There are some important rules to keep in mind that the campus enforces. CMEF by French law is responsible for each student over the course of his or her stay. Students are not allowed to drink alcohol, leave CMEF campus after 7 p.m., or smoke inside or outside of the camp. Students are allowed to leave campus between 1.30 and 6.30 p.m. as long as they are in groups of three or more. Dorm rooms are modest and have between two to four beds and wardrobe space. There is no air conditioning, so keep that in mind when you're packing. The self-service cafeteria provides generous, well-balanced meals, and the campus is staffed by CMEF counselors. Should you have any needs or questions, please ask. We wanted to also share a general packing list for you. You will be by the water, so remember to pack clothes that easily layer so that you can stay cool during the day and have a sweater or jacket if it gets cooler at night. Remember that there is no air conditioning, so be sure to pack accordingly. We also wanted to provide you with a little bit of travel information. AFS USA will provide round trip international travel. In the weeks leading up to your departure, AFS USA will also provide you with more information regarding your program, such as flight details, important contact numbers, what to do in different scenarios, and additional travel information. AFS USA will also provide guidance on your domestic travel itinerary, provide a flight chaperone that travels with you to France, and we'll be mailing you some AFS merch. I wanted to share some highlights of what is and is not included in your program. Some things included are your round trip international airfare, program activity fees, access to our 24 seven duty officer emergency system and secondary travel medical insurance. Some things that not included is the domestic travel to the international departure city, any required COVID-19 tests, luggage fees from the airline, and any spending money you would like to have while on program. It's important to also review the AFS support process. You'll see the chart at the top of the slide, which highlights our AFS chain of communication. Once on program, each participant and family is assigned to a specific AFS USA participant support staff person who will be their point of contact for the duration of the program. However, there are also CMEF staff and counselors on the ground to assist participants if they have any issues or challenges that arise. If something comes up, participants should first go to the on-site staff and counselors. They will in turn communicate directly with AFS USA support staff who will get in touch with parents and families. We strongly advise against participants going first to parents and families because often with the time difference, it is not the most efficient way to handle something right away. Always go to staff and counselors first. They will communicate with AFS USA staff who will in turn keep parents and families in the loop if anything comes up. If you call AFS USA between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on non-holiday weekdays, you'll be connected to the Participant Support Emergency Line. If you call outside of these hours, you will be connected to the 24-7 Duty Officer System. You will also see the Duty Officer phone number in the highlighted yellow box at the bottom of this screen. As I mentioned before, AFS and CMEF have had a long partnership. If you apply for this program through AFS, you will be provided with intercultural learning courses and pre-departure orientations, round-trip international airfare, chaperoned travel, general travel support, our 24-7 duty officer emergency system, U.S.-based support for parents and families, secondary medical insurance, and inclusion as an AFS alumni. However, 
We want to note that you may also explore registering for this program directly through CMEF. The website is provided below. If you register through CMEF, the above will not be included in your program. I wanted to share some helpful tips to prep for your program. Learn as much as you can about French culture. Read French news, listen to French music, watch French TV shows and movies. Study some common French words or phrases. You'll be glad to have a few basic phrases to use once you arrive. Remember that the currency is the euro. Most US debit and credit cards work in ATMs in France, but it's still important to let your bank know that you will be traveling and to expect international charges between your program dates. While all food expenses are covered, you will need spending money for souvenirs and any extra snacks you might want. Your next steps are to create an account with AFS, choose the program you're most interested in, and tell us more about you. Once you submit your pre-application, select a preferred program that you're eligible for, and pay your application fee, you'll be assigned to a study abroad specialist who will guide you through the rest of the application process. If you have any questions, please contact us at studyabroad.afsusa.org. This is an inbox monitored by our study abroad team, and we'll get back to you as soon as we're able. Thank you so much for joining us today, and let the adventure begin.